Hi, my name is Akash Shah. I'm a senior global product manager at Amazon Web Services. Today, I would like to talk about direct-to-consumer. So let's get started. We would like to talk about the main two use cases around video on demand and then live events. We saw the, in the pandemic, we saw the surge of live events going virtual, and I think we really want to help our media customers leverage that uh, growing demand. And also in video on demand, which is more classic use case, we have tried innovating and bringing other unique feature set so that they can continue to get that engagement from the customer. Uh, this is a great uh, infrastructure overview of this platform, but I swear to you, but this is not a technical slide. So I'll walk you through, it's gonna be very easy. Look at the application stack here, you will see different boxes there, but you see content management, subscription management, interactivity, recommendation search. Consider these like pillars of direct-to-consumer. You would need all of this in order to launch a direct-to-consumer platform. And what we have done is we have partnered with vendors that we work with in order to create this proactive integration for the customers so that they have a head start. Now, let's look at the middle slide where you can see the entire pipeline for Elemental Media Suites, and then our core services from AWS, S3, EC2, Lambda, what have you. So as you can see, it's completely based on AWS infrastructure, but at the same time, it covers all the building blocks and fundamental pillars of direct-to-consumer with some vendors. And even though we have some names here, what is important to note is that they are very configurable. So if you choose to go with another vendor, we can simply integrate with that. In our, and in the future, we are working with so many other vendors, and our aim is to provide a really vast and robust list of vendors with different feature sets so that our customers can choose from various vendors. Now let's talk about the first use case. Uh, we talked about video on demand. What are we doing there that could be really helpful to our customers? So on the left-hand side, you can see search. We have partnered with Algolia. On the right-hand side, you will see dynamic personalization, like recommendations, and we'll walk you through all that. How can that be done with the CMS? And how AWS Personalized, the AWS managed service, comes into the play. On the left-hand side, number three, you see subscriptions and pay-per-view. Uh, we have partnered with uh, Salesforce and Stripe and many others in order to create that end-to-end -end workflow of the subscription and payment processing. And at the right-hand side, uh, we have integrated AWS Personal, personalized uh, a managed service to create a robust recommendations. Now, this is a very good slide. It talks about all the future aspirations of Amazon and what kind of feature set we want to bring to our media customers. So let's go through one by one. Common integrations like multi-camera angle viewing. We also like video audio feeds, social media integrations, commercial integrations where you have inte integrations for ticketing and uh, merchandising, fantasy football integrations or fantasy league integrations. You have data-driven integration for augmented uh, monetization sponsorship. You have data-driven for video augmentation. And then you have live and statistical data overlay feeds. Um, also, we have seen the rise of live betting for sports, whatever it's legal, of course, and we would like to help our customers do just that. So sports betting integration is also one of the really uh, big feature that we are looking forward to. In this mock-up, you will see the live game is going on, and on the left-hand side in the corner down, you will see merchandising, like the jerseys or, or anything that is going on. We can, customers can now integrate with this integration for e-commerce and now monetize. Uh, let's say if the customer has ordered pizza and they are just waiting on the pizza, can we integrate with Uber Eats or some other vendors who are providing these delivery services and be able to kind of capture that process here? We have ticketing and we have a dedicated camera for players or coaches. Now, this is the screen where it captures the uh, subscription and pay payment management. Uh, we talked about Salesforce, so this is the ac actual uh, process where it captures the payments and allows the selection of packages. If it's pay-per-view and if it's just one event, user will be able to kind of enter the uh, information and be able to get the subscription entitlements. Now let's have a product view. Let's start with live events. Everybody loves sports, but let's take an example of 
live event. Let's say we have a hockey game going on. It is going for $99 and a customer wants to buy that event. So let's go to the payment processing subscription flow that I was talking about. Here we go. I'm just gonna confirm it. And Salesforce is running in the back end to get the entitlements and payment processing done. And, and now we are here and it says play now. So we have the entitlements and successfully got that. What you're looking at right now is four live feeds playing on a single screen and it can be used for various reasons. So let's say if the customer is looking to watch four live games happening in different places or four live events happening in different places, they can see it on this screen. Or if it, it can be a same event happening but di with different camera angles and customers can choose which one they want to watch on the main screen. I just changed that, look at that. Now on the side, you see live chat that can be hidden or can be visible. Customers can now use this to communicate and share their experiences, so bringing more interactivity to the customers. And we, all, we also put in place uh, uh, moderation and profanity filters so that people are not abusing this uh, platform. And like you see that, the word that I just typed is designated as a profanity for the system and it, therefore it is blocked. All those users are gonna brought to a moderation site where they can be dealt with by admin. Let's go to the Ward side, and I really want to talk about um, integration with multiple databases and how we can create a details page with unique fields and data. Over here, you're looking at uh, IMDb ratings. Uh, you are seeing photographs of the actors and actresses and information, and, and this we have created with multiple databases. We have integrated with IMDb, also TMDB, and we are creating this page. But our customers can use even more databases to create this, uh, and they, these fields can be created in CMS. Let me go to the home page and let's talk about recommendation. Okay, so you see recommended for you, and customers can go to the CMS and uh, set up requirements around hot start and cold start. Hot start would be where the customer has already signed in, we have the information of the customer, we know their past history, and depending on that, and geographical location, and many other factors, we can create that recommendation category for them. If it's a cold start, meaning they have not signed in and we do not know the customer, you know, we can set up that in, in CMS to have that static recommendations. Coming soon or just added, these are all the different types of collections that customer can create and automate in CMS. Just wanna draw your attention to just added movies and why it is empty because these collection category and the items within has expired in the CMS. So now the admin has to go to the CMS in order to kind of get that uh, entitlements and, and assets ready so that that can be populated here. With that, I would like to go to search. You can see how quickly it populates the results. If I click on the search, I will land on this landing page of search and discovery where I can further reduce down my and narrow down my results and I can find that right content for myself. Or I can click one more time, write Tom, and if I just click on that asset, I'll actually be landing on that asset details page, which is a quicker way to get to that same asset. So with that, I would like to conclude this demo. I appreciate all your time and effort. Thank you so much for watching this demo, and please reach out if you have questions.